What's up and welcome back to 212 Kids. Man, we've had a fun and amazing month talking about resilience. And this is resilience. It's getting back up when something gets you down. And that's something that we all need, right? I mean, all of us have things that knock us down in life. But with God's help, we can bounce back and get up and be resilient. And that's exactly what we're going to continue to talk about today. But before we do that, let's do something that I love to do and I know you love to do. Let's jump around. Let's get up. Let's sing about how great our God is. And let's spend some time in praise and worship with Simone. Are you ready? Let's go. job, friends. Well, hey, like I said, we've had an amazing month talking about resilience and how God can help us to bounce back when things get us down. And this month, we've learned that we we can be resilient because God is always with us. And we learned that we can choose joy when life gets us down. We've seen how God has worked even in the lives of people from the past who trusted God, even in some really tough situations. Well, today we're taking another look at the book that we looked at last week, the book of Hebrews in the Bible, and we're going to talk about how we can live with resilience every day. But before we get started, I wanted to mention this, that every person watching has a different story. Each of you has had a different life, a different set of circumstances, and different challenges that you might be facing right now. But Even through all those differences, through all those circumstances and challenges, one thing that we all share is Jesus. Each of us can look to Jesus. Whether you've been coming to church your whole life or you just started learning and hearing about Jesus. The same thing goes for all of us. That we can all think about Jesus and how he showed resilience. 
and that will help us to have resilience too. And here's how that's explained, how Jesus had resilience in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. Here's what it says. Let's keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith, and he's the one who completes this journey of faith. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. Then he sat down at the right hand of God on the throne. He made it through these attacks by sinners, so think about him. Then you won't get tired. You won't lose hope. Pretty amazing, right? That when we're going through something that's tough, it sure helps us to remember that what Jesus did and what he was willing to go through for us. I mean, Jesus loved us so much that he was willing to go and die on the cross for our sins, all because it was a part of God's plan. Now, here's something important to remember about this, that when we say to think about Jesus and, and remember how he was willing to go and die on the cross for you and me, the point of that is not to make you or me feel bad about ourselves or, or bad about our situation. In fact, it's the exact opposite of that. The point is, is that if you think about Jesus, it should encourage you and give you strength to remember how strong Jesus was and to have hope remembering how much Jesus loves you. Those are things that will help us to bounce back when we're facing something tough, no matter how big or small it might be. And I actually want to illustrate for you what that looks like in your life. I have a couple of scenarios that I want to lay out for you, and, and we'll kind of act out some things, and you can see exactly how this can affect you. So, let's see. I want to take a look at what it's like to be in school dealing with teachers, right, and homework and things that kind of get us down sometimes. So, I'm going to be a teacher in this first scenario, right? And tell me if this kind of sounds familiar to you. Okay, class, I want you to open your books to chapter seven. We'll be multiplying fractions and decimals. Great, I'm never gonna understand this. Now, when multiplying fractions, we wanna match up the numerators and multiply those, then do the same for the denominators. Wait, which one goes on top again? Do I cross multiply this? Now, once you've figured out the multiplication, just go ahead and simplify the fraction if you can. There's nothing simple about this. Ah, oh, I can't do this. Great, let's move on to multiplying a fraction by a decimal. Wait, decimals, those are two different things. I don't understand any of this. Does anyone have any questions? All right, everyone's got it? Great, let's move on. Now, that was something that may have happened to you before. I know it's happened to me before, that you know, you're in class and you're trying to understand what the teacher's saying and you feel like the teacher is just speaking a different language. Sometimes you just don't get it. And that's not a good feeling, is it? You don't wanna look like you don't get something and the other kids may think it's so simple. So. How do you bounce back from something like that? Well, sometimes resilience means having the courage to ask for help. And here's the thing, that's true for a lot of things in life, not just math assignments. If something gets you down, talk to someone about it. Ask for help, talk to God about it. And just like we read in the passage earlier, think about Jesus. Think about how he kept going and did what he had to do. Your math problem is not the same as Jesus having to go to the cross. But if you remember what Jesus went through and how he pushed through all that he had to do by going to the cross, it can help you and me to also push through. You know what, guys? Let's revisit that scene again and see how a little resilience might make things turn out better, okay? Okay, class, 
open your books to chapter seven. We're gonna multiply fractions and decimals. Great, I'm never gonna understand this. Now, when multiplying fractions, we wanna match up those numerators and multiply those, then do the same for the denominators. Wait. <sighs> yes, oh, you had a question? Yeah, which one goes on top again? Do I cross multiply for this? Great question. I can see how that can be confusing. What you wanna do is line up the top numbers like this. Those are the numerators. Okay, got it. Then multiply them. Then line up the denominators. Those are the ones on the bottom. Okay, I think I got it. Then what do you get? 12 over 16. Wait, I can reduce that. Yes, you can. Three over four. Is that the right answer? Great job. Guys, see? See how different that was? Remember that if you don't understand something, ask for help. Teachers and parents and friends, they're all willing to help. They want to help you find the right answer. And when life gets hard, you know we can always ask God for help. Think about Jesus. Think about how Jesus faced the toughest things that anyone could ever face. And that's going to help you in times where you're struggling and you have challenges. I'd like to show you one more scenario and see how being resilient can help us to work it out. Well, in this scenario, I call it the injury. And we're in a doctor's office, right? Okay. Ah, uh, my leg hurts so bad. I just want to go home. Why do I even need to see the doctor? Oh, great. Here he comes. Well, hello. Yes, I, I, I know it's been two weeks here, it says, since the surgery. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Leg getting stronger? It was a pit pretty bad break. It still hurts, like all the time. Yeah, you know what? It, it actually might hurt for a while while you're recovering. But I can't do anything. I can't even like walk on it. It'll take time to heal, but that's one of the coolest things about our bodies. They are very amazing healers. But I'm gonna miss the entire basketball season. I know, it's rough. There's never a good time to break a femur. It hurts, bro. I wish I never broke it. It was really unfortunate, I understand, but you have to be strong. You'll heal and soon you'll be up and moving around just like normal. I don't want to be strong. I want it to go away. Man, that was a tough one, right? Has anyone ever broken a bone or something like that before or gotten really sick? I know I have, and it's not fun. Sometimes when you're hurt or sick, it's almost unbearable because you just want it to end. You just want it to be over. And in that moment, you feel totally horrible. But it's like we were talking about before. We can find resilience when we think about Jesus, about how much Jesus loves us and what Jesus was willing to do for us. That can help us to bounce back even from the toughest situations. If you're feeling nervous or worried or sick or hurt, we can always talk to God about it. We can ask God to give us resilience that we need to push through those tough times. Because you know what? We know that there are good things ahead and even in the worst of situations, God is always there with us. And we can never forget this truth, that we can trust in God no matter what. You can trust that God always wants to help us in our greatest time of need. You know what, guys? Let's revisit that scenario again and see how prayer and resilience can help us. Ah, uh, this is tough. 
It hurts so bad. Will you help me? It hurts so bad. Please. Hi. It's been two weeks since the surgery. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Leg getting stronger? It was a p pretty bad break. It still hurts. Like, all the time. But yeah, it's getting stronger. I must say, you've got a pretty good attitude about this whole thing. I mean, it hurts, but I have to go through this if I want it to heal. Pretty soon, I'll be up and around, and I might be able to stay with my basketball team. I think that's a great goal. Let's get you healthy. Man, isn't that great? You see how much prayer can help you see things differently? It helps you remember how much God loves you and that you're not alone. And it also helps us to remember that God loved us so much that he sent Jesus just for us. And Jesus loved you enough to go to the cross. And when you think about that, you can find the strength to bounce back from just about anything. Man, that was awesome. Well, listen to the words again from, the, from Hebrews that we read once before, right? And it was telling us to keep looking to Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 3, it says this, Think about him, then you won't get tired and you won't lose hope. Guys, in any situation that knocks us down or gets us down, we have to have extra resilience. We need to always remember that we need to think about what Jesus did for us on the cross. And that will help us to bounce back from whatever we're facing. And guys, that's our bottom line today. We want to keep going because of what Jesus did. Guys, let's pray because we want to make sure that we can focus on Jesus and not on our problems. God, we pray today that, Father, you will help us in the middle of whatever we're dealing with, whatever we're going through, that, God, you will help us to focus our eyes on Jesus and think about what Jesus did for us and how he was able to push through and have resilience. And, God, if we look to you, we can always find that resilience and strength because, God, you're always with us. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for that truth today. In Jesus' name, amen.
Man, that was some pretty powerful stuff today that we talked about. You know, I know sometimes it's hard for me to actually remember and think about what Jesus went on the cross. I mean, I know it happened, and I know that Jesus is real. I know that he was really here on earth, but when you think about it, it almost seems far away because you and I can't see it with our own eyes. But guys, that's where faith comes in. Remember we talked about faith and the heroes of faith? You know what? We weren't there, but I believe that it happened. I didn't see Jesus die on the cross, but I have faith to know that he did. He took away the sins of the world, including yours and including mine. And when I think about that, it helps me to bounce back and be just a little bit stronger. And that's our bottom line. We want to keep going because of what Jesus did for you. Guys, we can remember that Jesus paid the price for our sins on the cross. And he did that for you and he did that for me because he loves us so much. So whenever you feel like giving up, whenever you're down, just remember, we want to think about Jesus and that can keep you going. Man, what a great day and what a great month we've had here at 212 Kids. I'm telling you, God's got something great for us next month in June. I hope you'll stick with us. Until then, I love you. I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for you. And we'll see you next time here at 212 Kids. Hey guys, be sure to click here to watch another episode of 212 Kids and click here to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes.